And we're going to go to sheet number two. We'll just keep it clean. I'm going to zoom in a little bit for you. All right, our goal is basically to set up maybe a new report or something. So we're going to we're going to have it say date, and then we're going to put today's date in this cell. Let me zoom in a little bit more. Hopefully you can see that okay. So Alt F11. So currently we're we're inside Macro One. If I click outside of the Macro One area, then I can start creating a new one. So I'm going to type in sub space, and I'm just going to give it a name. I'm going to call this show date. So to reveal the date. If I hit enter, you can see pretty clearly that now there's a line separator, and it automatically typed in end sub, which is required at the end of your procedure. And it put these nice little parentheses, which we will talk about later and expound upon in the course. But you don't need to know all that right now. What we're going to do is we're going to keep it pretty simple. I'm going to say that range, parentheses, quote, A1, in quote, in parentheses. So range A1 equals, and I'm going to put date, colon, end quote. So I want A1 to say date, colon, and then range B1. I want that to contain today's actual date. So I'm going to use a system variable, D-A-T-E. If I click away, it's just like typing equals today in a cell. So this is an internal VBA function for the same. So now I'm just going to go ahead and run this macro. You can do that by pressing F5, or we can click up here in the run sub slash user form. So I'm going to click that, and bam. So date and today's date appear in cell A1 and B1 respectively. Okay, so just like that, you can also uh, debug through those if you choose, just the same way. So if I hit F8, F8, this is going to make A1 date, and this is going to make B1 today's date, and F8 to end the macro. All right, go back to our slide deck here. So that was pretty fun. We've already recorded a macro. Uh, tweaked and created our own macro from scratch, and we've learned the basics of debugging, which is really exciting because uh, you'll be able to do a lot of really powerful things with that information. Okay, so here is just outlining what we've done with a little screenshot so that later when you want to play around with this, you can have all the step-by-steps.